Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Enjoy this presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. Hey everybody, good evening. It's Jimmy Mack coming to you live with another transmission and download of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. We're glad you're here tonight. We appreciate all the callers and the folks coming in off the URL network and the link. And uh, we always try and mix it up for you. Got a little rain here tonight in Clearwater, Florida, and uh, we needed it, so it's all good. What is it? Uh, April showers, spring May flowers, so we're too early for that. But it is a new moon. We're still in the heart of Mercury retrograde, so if you're experiencing all kinds of weird stuff, you can at least have a little something to blame it on, that's for sure. has been a lot of electrical things lately. My friend drove me to the chiropractor and her battery went dead the uh, computer of mine the, one of the light bars went out gosh out of the blue and I thought it was, I was panic stricken and just plugged it into different pieces but it had somehow flipped the switch or a fuse so there's a lot of that going on it seems weirdly electrical so you're experiencing some lights flickering or some electrical issues or anything like that interplanetary, all the other stuff going on. Gosh, it's a lot nerve-wracking. So we'll release that tonight for everybody, too, for sure. If you're not already getting our newsletter, it's TGI Wednesday. It's every week. It comes out tomorrow. Just gives you the schedule, the shows, everything that we got going on, the lineups, filled with affirmations, audio and video, all kinds of cool things in there. You can find out more about that. Just go to jimmymachealing.com and just put in your name and your email address. It's all free, kind of like tonight. This is us giving back, folks. It's all free for readings and healings, and uh, that's why we're here. It's what we do, and uh, a lot of a lot of cool stuff coming up, a lot of great shows coming up that I'm going to be on for others, and um, it includes Ian's show and, uh, of course, Darius and a few others, and there's some replays on some shows we just did all free, all free healings, so a lot of good stuff. We also have a Zoom event we'll be doing sometime in March, all about luck and lotto and money, money, money. So if you're overdue for that, look for that in the newsletter as well. should be a cool event. So we appreciate everybody being here tonight, and we look forward to helping you in any way that we can. We're excited about tonight's special guest. I can just phone it in the last Tuesday of every month, as long as she's on the line. I love it. And it's uh, Reverend Debbie Dean Spear. Hey, good evening. How are you tonight? Wonderful. Oh, good. Good, good. Is it raining by you? Of course. Yep. Liquid Getting a little bit dry. cooler, too. It's so odd. It's, I know it's new, man. When's Mercury retrograde up, like the first week in March, end of it or something? The 16th. 16th. Oh, that's a long run. Oh, my gosh. It is oh my a very gosh. Long, oh, long, well. long run. <laughs> it's a long run. Holy moly. Long, long Have you experienced some of the same weird stuff, the electrical things and odd things going on? <laughs> well, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Well, that's good. But I have had my friends mo- that have. Yeah. Well, my mother would say Broken you've been dryers, spared. Cars, all those yep. things. Yep. Oh, yeah. A lot of that going on. So weird. That's so funny. Hey, how do folks get a hold of you, honey, for other readings? I know it's uh, church service, also uh, Wings of Grace Spiritual Center on Facebook. What's your best uh, email address and your phone number, though? Uh, spiritualdeb at gmail.com or okay. 
888-646-3896. Awesome. Best way to go. Love it. Well, we'll grab some callers here tonight and mix things up. We'll let ladies go first, of course, for any readings, and I'll be glad to help out with any healings uh, that come our way as well. So we'll jump right into it. 928 is our first caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, wow. My name is John, and I'm calling from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. How are you tonight, John? Oh, wonderful. Wow, i got goosebumps all over. I, this is incredible. I've... Uh, I've just been, uh, I listened to you the other other day, and you helped me, and I now I get to have De- uh, Reverend Debbie. My my little brother, I just got a call, my little brother is uh, six years younger than me, and they're, he's uh, passing in, in that state of passing away this, uh, over the next few hours, I think, down in Phoenix, and, and um I, uh, you know, he's had 15 years of cancer stuff, but uh, going on. I saw him recently, but uh, God uh, bless. Five, uh, mm. five hours away. Yeah, he just spoke. I just went in. He spoke at a uh, youth uh, to the youth group a couple of weeks ago. They wheeled him in his wheelchair and his oxygen and his swollen legs and everything. And he spoke uh, about seeing angels, the angels that he sees out his window mowing his lawn and stuff like that. So, I mean, he's just an amazing young man. I always said he's doing great, but my sister just called. So I've had that on my mind, and, and I, uh, I'm just wondering, you know, if my fa- parents are both passed, and I just, uh, just, I don't know, I'm just, uh, Gary's a... Uh, is now getting ready to pass, and I just, I guess that's what was on my mind right now. I don't know. Um, wow. I'm doing pretty darn good myself. and So is he. Yes, yes. He's it's doing another, better than us. Uh, yeah, 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 it's all good. It's all good. He's, I mean, anytime you talk to him and ask him how he's doing, he say, I'm doing great. So he's a very inspirational young man of about uh, 65 years old. Oh, but, God bless uh, them. Uh, wow. So uh, I don't know if you have something that just comes to your mind that, that for me because or him or uh, I'm just in a, uh, I'm in a good space and uh Thanks to Jimmy the other day, I mean, uh, with your my liquid fish, my you read my uh, kidney uh, that I'd had removed stones two years ago. You read the pain as being uh, muscle memory, and man, th- and you, what you did it. I mean, I it's the pain's gone now. It's two. It's just love nice. that. I'm, That's it's, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. It's been a week or so now, and it's like wow, you know. When you, so uh, when you had me stand and face north and you pulled me, pulled me forward and pushed me back, man, I, it was incredible. So I just know Love I that. feel the magic with you guys. I feel the magic. Well, good. Just, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see what Debbie has to offer for your stuff, maybe the parents. Certainly it's a blessing to at least get to say goodbye to your brother, you know. Most folks yeah. we didn't get to say goodbye to. I didn't get to say goodbye to my brother. And uh, drugs and alcohol, you know. And sometimes I feel like everybody's gone now. I almost feel lonely. I lost my father. I lost my mother a month ago. And um, I shouldn't even think of it as loss. I think I've been hanging out. They've been hanging out with me more lately than, you know, when they were around. So it's kind of funny. So Debbie would tell you that, too. You know, it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it is. It is amazing. It's amazing. It's an incredible journey. We're just, uh, and my father told me as a young child that there are beings all around us in other realms. So he, he, I've been taught that my whole life. So mm-hmm. he was a person Good. that, uh, that uh, people came to, and he just did for counseling all the time for free. He was just, uh, he gave and gave and gave. He, so he, uh, wow. I know that they're on the other side being, uh, 
mm-hmm. being right here with us. So, you know, in yeah. service. Love that. Reverend Tiffany says, no goodbyes. See you soon. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. <laughs> a good way of saying and, it, isn't it? And what's funny is yeah. Spirit is showing me a tree of life. And they're wow. saying that there's new insight and, uh, and granted wishes. And they're showing me, Archangel Michael Tierney is showing me a date tree, and I've never seen a date tree before. It kind of looks like a palm tree. And yes. um, he's saying enlightenment is discovered through knowledge and will it's going to free you from doubt. And they're showing me good times, good fortune, now are being returned. And um, there's undermining influences that are destroying themselves by destroying their host. Oh. There, there is a situation that is bringing you new insight as your brother steps into his true self. And Spirit says, you have a thirst for knowledge and that your answers, your questions before you even ask them are being answered. And they're wow. showing mystic thoughts in your subconscious. I feel that you're very resourceful and um, there are spiritual blessings that are being brought to you, not just your brother. And they want you to be more serious about meditating, being more dedicated. You feel really overloaded. And I feel this is a wonderful time right now, a uh, time of destiny. And spirit is bringing you new knowledge. They don't want you to beat yourself up. I feel that you're being pulled in two different directions as you're making decisions, and I think that's understandable. But they're showing family unity here, and there's a grandfather here in spirit that is saying, family is family. Everyone is always there to support each other, and it's God's will, not your will. And. There's a lot of wonderful changes that are in store for you personally as Spirit opens these new doors for you, and you're going to have a whole new vision of what's for your highest and best. And uh, they're showing me Archangel Michael and Archangel Raggio, and they're saying for you to be content, and you're going to see new doorways that guide you on your journey. So God bless you. Wow, well, you know I've you. been feeling I've been feeling and feeling that uh, in so many ways. Yesterday was uh, 19 years sober, and for me, God bless but, you. Uh, my I'm named after my grandfather who died in the 1918 influenza epidemic, so my six months before my father was born. So I'm John Everett West, my grandfather and my father, and we are, mm-hmm. but I never knew him, but I uh, I don't know. There's a lot of feelings of all kinds of things going on right now, I, and I feel, uh, boy, what you're saying just sounds, resonates so truly. I'm thankful for that. Thank you so much. You're very mm-hmm. welcome. You're uh, very welcome. You're welcome. We appreciate you calling in, buddy. Thank Keep you, us posted. We'll help you any way we can. Okay. I love you. Have a good you, night, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye for now. Okay. Bye. Awesome. See you soon, I should say. 828 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. 828, you're on live. And they're probably thinking, is that me? Yeah, it's you. I've heard Thank them, you. Reverend Debbie, washing dishes before and sleeping and all kinds of stuff. I love it. No, that's eight to eight. To sleep. <laughs> that's you. All right. Sleep, seven, six, zero, seven, six, zero is next. Hi, what's your yeah. name? Where are you calling from? This is Sharon. 
I'm calling from hey, Sharon. Miles, California. How, how are you, Mr. Jimmy? I'm good. How are you tonight? Good. I uh, just thought that I would just call on a whim. Um, I really don't uh, want to uh, have any, say, reading from a dead person um, or <laughs> okay. call one in. But um, I don't know if she just wants to read me or if there's any message for me. Well, first of all, they're not dead. They're very alive because their souls live forever. Yeah. And um, I feel that there are decisions you have to make. And you're going to go on a little short trip in state. And... Spirit is showing you having your heart's desire. I, I feel oh. that there's victory that's coming to you where you're finally making a decision and crossing over a line, and then you're going to see everything falling into place for you. Don't feel foolish about the decisions you're making. Spirit says listen to music and let things roll off your shoulders because um, when opportunity is greeted with enthusiasm, success increases naturally. And Spirit says there's complete harmony and the oneness of the universe that's attracting love uh, and romance, family, and acquaintances for you. And I feel that there's great wealth and prosperity around you. So be vigilant and receptive to receiving because this is a golden treasure that's going to have more potential than meets the eye for you. And I feel this is a win-win situation for you as the doors are open. So God bless you. How wonderful. Wow. That is How wonderful. absolutely beautiful. I'm welling up with tears, and I thank you so much. You're nice. welcome. God bless yeah. you. Now, you. Now you know why you called in. You had to hear that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. I love yep. that. There you feeling go. okay, honey? Everything else all right? Yeah. It is. Thank you Good. so much, Mr. Jimmy. I appreciate you both. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate lovely. you listening thank to the you. show, honey. Yeah, right on. Yep. Right on. Uh, yeah. Keep listening Reach to out the rest. Anytime. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for calling. Thank we you. appreciate you, honey. 314, Georgia is next. It uh, must be true. How are you uh, tonight? <laughs> Good. How are you doing, honey? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Mm-hmm. Busy, 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 but it's all good. So Right? <laughs> yeah. Did you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Uh, just wondering if there's anything coming through I need to know about. Um, oh, and by the way, Jimmy, your love uh, workshop was awesome, and I'm really looking forward to the next one. Oh, good. We're glad you joined us for it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Just wondering. Well, the spirit is showing you being pulled in two different directions. I feel like everything seems really slow moving around you right now, and you want to hurry and get there. And I feel that the restrictions are being put on yourself. And Spirit says there's expansion and abundance that's coming your way. And I feel that there's a lot of hard work around you. But they want you to listen to your psychic voice and go within because um, you're feeling very vulnerable. But I feel that there's wisdom and a windfall that is coming your way. And there's inner riches that are growing from psychological maturity, and it's going to bring a windfall, windfall, I'm sorry, of good fortune your way. Spirit's no. going, yeah, make up your own words, Debbie. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's wonderful new beginnings <laughs> that are multiplying for you, and I feel this is going to be a really wonderful time. This retrograde oh. has everyone hibernating, kind of being the hermit, okay? And... You're going to see when it's all said and done that this was a very good thing for you. As Spirit's opening new doorways for you, you're going to see that you have what you thought was out of your reach. And you're going to see that it's sitting right in front of you. 
So God oh, bless you. Good. How wonderful. <laughs> God bless mm-hmm. you. That is totally How wonderful. wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. They're Love saying it. to check your emotions. Pardon me? And I just see you facing whatever challenges come your way. And I feel then everything's going to fall into place for you. Awesome. Win-win for you. Thank you. The win-win. Wow. That is so nice to hear. I needed to hear that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So many blessings to you, ma'am, my dear. (laughs) You too. Well, thank you. Appreciate you you calling in, honey. Thank you. You bet. Love you both. Love you too. Thanks for listening to the show, honey. 434 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, hi, uh, Jimmy and Reverend Debbie. This is Leanne in Virginia. Um, hey, Leanne. Hi. How are you tonight? Hi. Well, pretty good. I have uh, oh, good. one. It's, this is so interesting to me. Just listening to your voices has been so calming because I've been in a lot of oh, good. pain lately. And I just had to say that, that just listening has uh, you, you both are something. But my question well, is, because I have been, 2020 has been interesting so far. I feel like I've been really physically challenged with health things one after another. But I've also been working on a lot of self, um, I, I don't know whether I'm having like healing responses in, in some of the work that I'm doing both with Jimmy and uh, doing some learning Qigong work that is just bringing a lot of stuff up too fast and I'm, it's healing responses or if this is just a little season that I'm having some physical setbacks that I might need some help with. I'm wondering what you see in that, Debbie, Reverend Debbie and, um, and Jimmy. I know I already have talked to you about some of the things I'm going through. Mm-hmm. That are, are just seem to be moving slowly, but I guess my question is: Is it healing response, or am I having some health issues that you guys can help make that a little smoother as I just work through them? It, it seems like it's been a few years, so okay. this is just kind of funny that it's all hitting at once. <laughs> well, spirit is saying slow and steady wins the race. Okay. And they're showing the gift of strength and permanence in your life. Um, Strength is going to grow through time, and it brings rewards of honesty. You're living up to your great expectations, Spirit says. And Archangel Raphael, (laughs) Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael are here, and they're saying there is a new path, and this is... a where you're sitting at the door karmically, where it's time for things to change. You don't do change very well. You like to know what to expect. You want it to stay the same. (laughs) But then you're not even moving slow if it's staying the same. You're just sitting in one place, kind of treading water. And Spirit says, you have a really good friend that's always there through thick and thin, and you should count your blessings. They're showing me an Aries around you. And I feel that there are new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings, and this is the greatest gift spirit could ever give you. And as you step through this new pathway karmically, you're going to see an increase in prosperity, which is coming not just in a form of money. You're going to see that you have abundance and prosperity in all arenas of your life. Wow. And what a wonderful gift. Could that be a move? Because we've been thinking about moving, but then I've had so many little health bumps that I haven't focused on that move. When you're saying that change, could that be a move? Same town. It can be everything. You're changing everything, Everything. not just one thing. You know, when the fruit falls to return to the earth, it's sweet and it's soft. And it will be for you as well. It's just like taking a peach off a tree, you know. Mm. And um, Spirit is showing this magic around you. And it's funny tonight that they're showing me tree magic. I don't know. But um, 
Spirit says, you know, you're having to look at things in a new light. It's time to accept the change. And I feel as you do, um, I see you opening up your universal heart and you're going to start nurturing your dreams. And I feel then you'll see the angels all around you as they greet you with the new dawn. Then you'll see everything coming full circle for you. So God bless you. How wonderful. Nice. Thank you. That's beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> How nice. A lot going on there. Gosh. Hold so on. whatever's <laughs> going on. Yeah, whatever's going on to you, honey, I, I get that it's the second choice. Hell, I don't remember what it was now, but you were asking about, you know, which way is going on. I think it's a lot of things hitting all at one time. I'd also be hopeful that they're hitting all at one time and clearing out faster, too, that way. I think I'd almost oh, have okay. a rather have a bunch of things hitting right now and clear them out in the next 30 days than one hitting you every 30 days, if that makes sense. That's what it's been like. It was like flu in yeah. January. Yeah. Now this knee mm-hmm. thing, and mm-hmm. now I've got some like fibroid cysts that are giving me a little heck. That's funny. <laughs> well, it's yeah. Fun. The other thing, when you have you. traveling issues like that, like the ankle hurts one day and the knee the next, and then fibroids the next, it's always about indecision. You got a lot of indecision, perhaps, about where you're all going to move, what you're going to do, blah blah blah. So wow, you definitely want to fish true. in some, you know, discernment and direction in your life as opposed to indecision. So, okay, makes sense. Yes, perfect sense. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Yeah, we'll hit it for you. That's for sure tonight as well. So, we'll see what. Uh, what comes up then. You want to stand up now, rock something out, go ahead. All right. All right. Let's just do all pain and inflammation because if you're going from, let's say, knee to, you know, having fibroids and all these other things and inflammation, leg stuff they're showing me and reminding me and all that, it's going to pull you forward when we find that file and all that pain and inflammation. Yes. I'm, I'm there you go. so far forward yeah. I'm having to hold stuff up. <laughs> there you go. We're going to release it, resolve it, delete and erase it, disentangle it all out now. Have her learn all the lessons she needed to from it, release her from the service to it, pull her straight back when you're done. Okay, I'm still back. Yeah, yeah. and let that pull, 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 and bring you back to neutral once it's done, of course. Okay, neutral. Outstanding. So we'll see what happens now with that. And, you know, get your rest, too. My little acupuncturist friend always says during this winter time, if you want to watch a movie and eat two bowls of, you know, chicken lemon soup and lay on the couch for four hours, it's okay. Give yourself <laughs> permission to do that. So just well, know I'm that. that. And, and I yeah. work on this indecision thing. That's very... <laughs> I'll just tell you what comes through. through right yeah, yeah. And pray for and instead of work on uh, discernment and direction in your life, in other words, decision-making ability. And like instead of pondering everything forever, just sometimes you got to pick stuff and run with it. So but they're just immediately saying, gee, it's almost like you can't do any wrong. And what uh, Reverend Debbie came up with, too, is it's all good. So. You'll see. Yeah, that, that's okay. hard for, and I think that's what's hard because it's that, that feeling of, you know, that it is either way is good, and that is so hard for me because I want to know maybe what is best. So this has been helpful, that it's all good, and I just need to make my mind up. I agree 100%, honey. So, we'll be here yeah. to help you, and email me anytime, yeah. too. You know that. So, okay. I, and I that love you both thank you so much love you thank you thanks for calling in you're most welcome gosh it's fabulous 201's our next caller hi what's your name where are you calling from hi this is isabel from new jersey how are you hey i'm hey. doing good how are you honey i'm well thank you um good i'd like to ask reverend debbie if there's a message for me tonight okay Yes, there is. 
Oh, let's see. Spirit is saying be free, and I see you taking a leap of faith. And Spirit is saying as you're embracing the change, there's a new door that's opening up for you. Um, And I just see your cup overflowing. And you're taking authority and you're doing what you have to do because that's who you are. And you seem scattered because you're trying to go in too many directions at once. Spirit is saying whatever you start, make sure you finish it. Tie up all the loose ends, okay? Because I see your wishes being granted and you're very self-sufficient. And they're showing me the marriage card where there's a lot of, positive changes here for you and you're standing on your own two feet and accepting the grace of spirit and as you embrace this change in your life spirit says um, it's going to be a win-win situation for you they want you to reflect um, on the message from heaven a message of wisdom And I feel that you're restoring the peace and the faith and the hope and the love and harmony within yourself as spirit is guiding you. And um, this is going to be a win-win situation for you. And towards the end of March, everything is going to make more sense. They're showing me freedom, freedom, freedom. Something's being torn up, spread to the wind, going away and new doors opening for you. So hooray for you. How wonderful. So Thank God bless you. So much, you. Debbie. I appreciate you deserve it. it. Jimmy, if I may ask you, you um, I'm feeling quite anxious about something that might occur tomorrow. Could we do a, sure. a, a release, please? I don't want to take too much time. Yeah, to stand call. up. Stand up. I am. We'll just think about tomorrow and the anxiety that that brings going to pull you forward when we find the file. And when you find that pull forward, just let us know. I'm forward. Good. And we're going to release it, resolve it, delete and erase it, disentangle it all out now. Have her learn all the lessons she needed to from it, release her from the service to it, pull her straight back when you're done. I'm back. There you go. So we'll see what happens now. We'll ask that everything changes in effect to be in your favor, too. I'm just fishing that in for you right now. You're on prayer, so we'll be working on it. Thank you so much, Jimmy. And Reverend, please include me in your prayer. You're so welcome. You bet. Uh, Thank you both. Keep us posted, honey. Thanks for listening to the show. Call in any time. Gosh. Thank you so much. Good flying night. by. Yeah, it's flying by, Reverend Debbie. Tell folks how to get a hold of you, does. honey. It always does. Uh, my, we just laugh. It does. My phone number mm-hmm. is 727-433-3896 or on Facebook, Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church. And I also have a website, spiritualdeb at Gmail. And I'm always here with Jimmy Mack at the end of the month, and I'm also on the (laughs) the show on Thursdays at 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12 noon, same phone number, folks. So join her this Thursday, 12 noon. So that's awesome. 727 is our next caller. Hey, we recognize that area code. What's up, 727? Hi, this is Emily in Seminole. How are you, Emily? Emily? Um, I'm doing okay. I hope you both are well. Yes, you bet. Of course. Thanks for asking, honey. Yes, yes. Um, Reverend Deb, I haven't seen you in a while. I've been super busy. Um, my mother's house, his soul, is getting ready to close. And uh-huh. um, anyway, I just want to know if there, if you, if you have a message. For me, from spirit, certainly. Um, This is a really big move for you, and it's not an easy one. And um, 
know know that you've been very responsible and you've done everything the right way, okay? And they're showing prosperity. Excuse me, and I also feel you have a sadness about selling the house. And I think that's always natural. Even when we know it's time for us to move in a new direction, it's not always easy. But you're going to see that there's a new balance in your life. Um, And I feel that you're going to take responsibility and do what you need to do. And Spirit says, you keep talking and talking about what you're doing. And they're saying, great ideas. Quit talking about it and get doing it. Okay. There's a new path, new um, opportunities, and they're saying this lack, feeling of lack, is just a lot of emotional upset that you're dealing with all the changes that are coming so quickly in your life. And I feel it's going to be a win-win situation before it's all said and done. And you're usually a very positive thinker, but I feel that your emotions are taking you over. You understand? Yes, I do. And that's natural. It's natural. You know, it's very natural that that would happen. But I feel there's harmony being brought to you. And I also feel your loved ones here in spirit with you. And they're very proud of everything you've been doing. And the support. Sometimes it, sometimes it doesn't feel like it's enough, but you can only do so much. They're saying <sighs> to cherish your innocence and to honor life cycle. And um, I just see this new light of enlightenment around you and that you're seeking that enlightenment. And I feel that you're being um, blessed. And I feel that you're going to rise above all this crazy-making stuff that you've been having to go through. And it is going to get better in spite of yourself. (laughs) (laughs) There's new doors that are going to be wonderful for you as you embrace the change. You're going to see that it is time to let go, let things fly to the wind as spirit opens your heart. And it will get easier for you, okay? Okay. Yeah. What about um? Do do you do you see anything about my um like my career path or my jobs? Um, I feel that it's blowing in the wind. It's like a tumbleweed. Okay, and spirit's going to put it together for you. You've already done everything you were supposed to. Uh And I feel that spirits opening new jobs for you. There's something that's hidden that hasn't been shown to you yet, but they're showing me legal contracts, new agreements. And you're not Mm -hmm. happy where you've been for a while, and I Mm -hmm. feel that it is time for a change. And in the next two weeks, you're going to hear all about it. So I never like to start a new job when Mercury's retrograde because everyone you work with, they don't hear you, they don't know you. They don't understand the real you. You know what I right. mean? But um, I feel that spirits are keeping you busy with everything else so that you can get through this and then step into the sunshine. So God bless you. I'm ready. How wonderful. Okay. How wonderful. And then I'm so um, happy for you. It, thank you. Keep us posted, honey. Thanks for calling in tonight. 508 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. 508. You're on live. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? We can hear you. you You're unmuted. 508, you're on live. (laughs) This is Mercury Retrograde. 
She wanted to listen. I think so. That's okay. Oh, you aren't we'll talking to me. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just listening. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that's goodness. okay. Goodness, goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, my God. I said they no can't worries. be talking about me. Oh, dear. Oh, but we are. That's okay. Oh, Did you have a oh, question, I, honey? Um, well, no, I didn't. Um, is um, any messages, I guess, for me or anything that you can see? Um, <laughs> what is your name? My name is Karen. Hi, Karen. And where do you live? Hi. I live on Cape Cod, but I'm in Florida right oh. now. Oh, how oh, I'm sorry. I, I messed you up there. I No, no worries. You're not messed up. You are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never been on a call before either, so it, it's, um, yeah. So, um, Great. My we first get to time. initiate you. Yes. How wonderful yes, to share yeah. your energy. Oh, well, it's so well, nice. Well, they're telling me from you. darkness everything goes to light. And I see you very happy, happy, happy. And Spirit oh. says you're in much need of rest. And um, I feel there's a lot of big surprises coming your way. And you don't like surprises. You like to know what to expect. But I see you doing this and this and this, like five different things at once. You're jumping back and forth, back and forth. And Spirit says, finish each thing. It's like everything is incomplete because you're jumping back and forth. You understand? And I feel like sometimes you're too critical of yourself. And they're showing me a new doorway um, th- I feel this is your destiny, and you're going to see toward the end of March um, that it's time to let go of the past and let go of the disappointment or anger or any resentment that you have towards anyone because there's this big wall up that's not going to let you move forward. I feel like you're going through a lot of major changes, and it's going to be a win-win for you as you get through this. And spirit says, um, seek with, excuse me, seek within yourself, because spirit is opening up new doorways. And I feel as you tap into your faith, you're going to see everything clearly. You're going to see how spirit is putting it together for you. Okay. And there's a grandmother here with you that is very proud of how far you have come. And she says, you're in Florida so that you can heal. And I feel that that you're in the middle of this healing vortex so that things can come together for you. So God bless you. How wonderful. Oh, Oh, that is wonderful. And part of the doorway is is speaking with you and getting through to you when I didn't even know I was I was trying <laughs> and us getting through to you when you didn't even know that we didn't know <laughs> right oh, love it how wonderful. I love it oh how nice oh, I love well, it too. oh well, well we're glad people. you got through honey you keep us oh, posted honey. thanks for calling in and listening to the show Oh, well, thank you for answering. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Have a good night, honey. 310, you're on live. 310. Hi. You're our next caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Maria. Hi, Hi, Maria. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Los Angeles. All right. Welcome to the show. Do you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Oh, yes. Um, I'm looking for employment, and I'm I'm kind of um, returning back to work after a a long period. and And you're not happy about it. I feel that you're um, 
still going through a healing process. And I see you working and gaining. And it's kind of like being on a roller coaster ride where it's wonderful and it's up and then it's down and then it's up and then it's down. I feel like there's a lot of fear and worry um, that you're letting go of as you're moving forward. And there's spiritual blessings that are being brought to you and enlightenment. And spirit is showing an increase. They said it's time to know your value. And, you know, where is your receiving basket? Okay, it's just like when you go to the grocery store and they say, oh, can I help you take your groceries out? And you go, no. You're going to do everything yourself. That's your receiving basket. The universe, you need to let these people help you take your groceries to the car. That's receiving. Okay? You understand? Hello? 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 I said, where are these people? Hello? When you... Did you hear what I said? You said uh, receiving basket? Yeah. You know, it's like when someone tries to give you something, you go, oh, no, 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 no. Spirit's wanting you to be open to receive. So yes. Just like I when understand. you go to the grocery store and they want mm-hmm. to take your groceries to the car and you say, no, I got it. That isn't receiving. You need to let them take your groceries and put them in the car for you. Okay. And Spirit is saying it. when all these simple little things happen in your life, simple little things turn into big things. And they're wanting you to be open to receive. Because I feel that there's a wonderful gift of enlightenment that is going to open all the doorways to make everything manifest in your life. And... Oh. I feel that it's a time of change, and I feel that this healing process is helping you to tap into your spiritual self to be open to the blessings. So God bless you. Thank God you. Bless you. You're very welcome. Thank you. I see generosity all around you, and I also see mm-hmm. happiness. And it's just time to let go and let God in your life, and you're going to see great new doorways and probably even a new job opportunity that will be coming to you very soon. So God oh, bless thank you. you. You're thank very you. welcome. Yes, thank you so much. And Jimmy, thank you. I think you know why. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, okay. Sure. Hey, we're glad you <laughs> called in, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You bet. Have a great night. You too. Thanks for listening to the show, honey. 985, Virginia, you're on live. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm good. This is Virginia in Louisiana. You bet. I know you. I can pick up on your voice. Oh, okay, good. It's all good. Did you have a question for Reverend Debbie, honey? Yes. Um, I would like to get a message from, uh, from Spirit to lead me to whatever I'm not doing right with health-wise. I've had several health problems for the last four years or more, and I just can't make any progress with it. Um, I have the tinnitus in my left ear and the pulsing and so many uh, blocked lymph lymph glands up in my uh, chest area and in my neck, in my neck on both sides. I... And I've tried many different things, but I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what what I need to do right. You're not doing anything wrong. Sometimes the process is walking through these things, okay? And I just feel that there's, this is a karmic thing that you're going through, a healing process. And Spirit says, as you continue to move forward, it's going to get easier and easier for you. And it won't feel like such a burden. Okay? And spirits opening new doorways, new opportunities for you. And um, 
I feel that you're going through a really big healing process here. And Spirit says you can have your heart's desire. You're not limited. You might feel limited, but you're not limited. And I, I see, feel that you're very fixable and you're coming out the other end of the tunnel whole and well. Oh, that sounds great. Whole and well. And um, they're showing kindness and friendship with you and justice. I feel there's gratitude also here that's helping you to find your way. So just keep moving forward. You're going in the right direction. And I feel that the angels are helping you. Archangel Michael has been with you for a very long time. And there's a grandmother that's watching over you, and she's really proud of how far you have come. And she says, let go, let God. And it's not what you have to do to change it. It's that the angels, the healing angels, are helping you to make these changes, positive changes in your life. So God bless you. Oh, thank you. God bless you. You're very welcome. Hey, that's encouraging, honey. Yeah. Yes. Babies are all good, all that? Yes, the babies are are growing and gaining a little weight, so they're they're doing doing wonderfully. It's exciting. Oh, that's they're good. Still, they're still in NICU, but they'll be there for a while. But thank you for of course. asking. Thank, of thank course. Of course, yeah. Them. Well, um, you know we're working on them. It's all good, and your daughter too. So keep us yes, posted. Please. You really show up for a chiropractor if you can find one in your neck of the woods there that uses an activator, clicker, fly kinesiology, muscle testing. If you were in Pinellas County, I'd know who to take you to. Chiropractic originated from uh, one of the doctors who later became and founded it, and he approached the janitor in the little elementary school, and the janitor hadn't been able to hear his whole life. He could barely hear, and all he did was crack his neck and back, and he, all his hearing was restored. So oh, wow. they're telling me that for a reason for you, right? And that's going to go a long way to help the tinnitus and the pulsing and everything else. You've got something off there in the neck, even high up okay. into the atlas. And so definitely want to find a chiropractor there locally, honey. It'll snap and crack everything. And I think that's going to help you out a lot. Okay? Okay. Okay. We're going to hit it in prayers it. tonight for you, too, of course. All right, and thank thank you so much for the daily prayers, and thank you for you the bet. Letter. I've been enjoying. The yeah, we're call. happy that you're doing okay, honey. Yeah, yeah. and thank you for making uh, the monthly call so affordable for for people. Oh, so you're welcome. Yeah, we're gonna have a money one coming up. That's for sure. And I'm we we appreciate y'all being on it, and everybody that submits uh, their requests. It it just it makes it awesome and powerful. So I love it. So thank you for right. saying that. Yeah. All right. It's awesome. All right, Have you. a good night, honey. Thanks for thank calling you. in. Thank you, Reverend Debbie. Have a have You're a very night. welcome. Thank you. Seven seven two zero. Scotty, you're on live. How are you, buddy? Well, brother Jimmy and Reverend Deb, it's so good to be on with everybody. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. What's hey, happening? Hey, hey. I just moving and grooving. Good. Did you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yeah, just what's uh, Reverend Deb? Um, what spirit name tonight? What spirit's name tonight? No, no. What is uh, anything from spirit this evening? Oh, okay. All right. This is Scotty from Colorado. (laughs) <laughs> well, as I open the door to spirit, um, there's a grandfather here putting a, a hat on as if he served in the military. And um, he's showing a lot of major changes in your life. And he says, don't look at where you've been. Look at where you're going. He said, things might not be coming together as quickly as you want. And he says, but that's a good thing because everything isn't together yet. And I feel that there is expansion and abundance in your life. And 
this is a destiny that spirit's helping to put together for you and I feel you're going through a lot of major changes but I feel when it's all said and done you're going to be very happy with the outcome that comes your way and I feel this grandfather is helping you from the world of spirit to bring it all together so how wonderful is that yeah I think uh, last I? time I talked to you same thing I had that grandfather uh, yeah, he's really strong around you. And both of them wore a hat. I know that, but at one oh. was in the military. He was in two. And then yep. uh, my other grandpa, he always had one of those top hats on. Oh, cool. Well, he's saying your devotion to the divine laws um, of good links, you're in a really strong protection of heavenly justice, he says. And I'm just seeing protection around you as they're helping you to move forward on your journey. Oh, that's awesome. And they're very proud of how far you have come. So God bless you. How wonderful. That's very awesome. Cool, cool. Makes me sound like I'm on the right path here anyway. Yes, you are. Uh, God bless you. I thank you. And I am so excited for that one program you got coming up <laughs> yeah we got a lot of cool stuff coming up so uh, you it's all good do. Man. and i know who's on my tithing list for sure is you <laughs> that's a fact thank yeah. you that's yeah. cute and funny thank you yeah i, saw I had one saying. girl she won uh, a lot of i think it was eight thousand dollars and I said, well, don't forget to tithe. She said, I already did. And I thought, well, I never saw $800 come through my account, so I don't know who oh, she's yeah. talking about. But it was uh, cute yeah. and funny, you know. So yeah, appreciate was, you calling in, buddy. We got a lot of good stuff coming up. So we'll definitely yeah, be doing a, a money and luck call around St. Patty's Day time. So that will be a yeah. Zoom call, of course. And uh, we got windfall ready to drop this uh, next month. And Reverend well, Debbie are- even has mentioned windfall a bunch, you know, as far as the yep. wording. And so how awesome is that? I have an audio MP3. It's all about windfall of money. So there you go. Keep yeah, us posted, buddy. Each other. I will be there. Yeah. Right. Thanks for calling Bye. in. Have a great Thank night. You. All right, pal. Well. Bye for now. Oh, my gosh, Reverend Debbie, it flew by. Always feels like 10 minutes with you. I can't believe it. I know. I love That's it. Crazy. I love it. Tell folks how to get a hold of you, honey. Well, you can call 727-433-3896, or I'm on Facebook at Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church, or spiritualdeb at gmail.com. And thank you very much, Jimmy. Oh, you're welcome. We appreciate you. You always bring it. And folks, you'll want to tune into our show uh, 12 noon Thursday coming up. Call in on the same number if you want to message from spirit then as well so thanks everybody and appreciate everybody tuning in join us here each tuesday night 9 p.m eastern and we'll bring it live again so thanks everyone want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life and remember to make progress every day bye for now jimmy mack is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who after a near-death experience was divinely shown a simpler way to create healing and profound changes now known as My Liquid Fish, Change Made Simple, host of talk radio show called The Jimmy Mac Healing Show. Jimmy works worldwide with clients in person, on the phone, and over Skype, accessing energetic powers and co-creating changes that you actually feel. Visit www.jimmymachealing.com. Become a Goldilocks Productions VIP patron. Receive exclusive access to live stream special and other epic perks. Join the Goldilocks Productions VIP community today.